Wow, look at this, the new Extra NG, which is a leap forward for Extra and their aerobatic high-performance aircraft. The NG stands for New Generation because this is the first extra aerobatic aircraft to be constructed of all carbon fibre instead of using a steel frame. Steel frames are known for their strength, rigidity and crash survivability and they have been the material of choice for extra until the people extra recently successfully found a method of introducing residual strength even in very thin shells such as used in carbon fibre fuselage structures. Breakthrough. This weekend I went to the aerobatic competitions and although there were some incredible machines there, the extra NG really stood out amongst them all as a serious bit of kit. Highly desirable. The NG is flown here by our local British aerobatic champion many times over Tom Cassells and he even went on to win the trophy that day in his extra NG, so congratulations to him. If you want to see his incredible display in action, check out my channel. I've got a video of where he did a full air display. If you have aerobatic experience yourself, why not tell us your story in the comments below. So what are the advantages of carbon fibre frames? Let's take a look. Steel frames limit interior space and add weight. Carbon fibre on the other hand allows for more space so you get a roomier cockpit. It also means that there's now a removable floor which makes it easier for maintenance. Carbon fibre means fewer parts reducing complexity and weight of course and also smoother surfaces and aerodynamic intersections, which no doubt reduces skin friction and other types of parasite drag. Also, unlike metal, of course, carbon fibre doesn't corrode. The NG is still using the tried and tested proven Lycoming in AEIO 580, 315 horsepower engine and the MTV3 blade prop and the wings as well retain their similar shape to the other LX models. So the real big change here is the fact that it's all carbon fiber. Let's take a look at the cockpit, and I'm not gonna lie, not only does it look awesome, but it's also ergonomic. The seat back is adjustable and designed to allow a pilot with a parachute to fit in there comfortably. And you also have an IFR capable Garmin G3X flight and multifunction display with digital autopilot. Those that have flown the aircraft are saying that it's not only, of course, blisteringly quick and manoeuvrable, as you'd expect for a cutting-edge aerobatic aircraft capable of 158 knots manoeuvring speed, a roll rate of 400 degrees per second, and capable of doing plus 10 and negative 10 Gs, but it's also relatively roomy, comfortable, and stable when cruising for more enjoyable cross-country flights. So let's take a look at the performance stats of this beast. With an empty weight of 1,400 pounds, which is 635 kilograms, it will cruise at up to 202 knots, stall at 56 knots, VS at 50 knots. As mentioned, the roll rate is 400 degrees per second and it will maneuver at 158 knots. It will climb at at least 3,000 feet per minute, but I don't have exact figures on that. In fact, there isn't actually that much information publicly available on its performance yet. But I bet on the fact that if you need it, the extra has it. It's going to cost you around 450,000 US dollars. It is ESA certified and they're working on the FAA certification. Let me know in the comments if you would consider the extra NG or what alternative you might want to consider if you're in a lucky enough position to be able to afford one of these. This is only the first carbon fibre framed extra, so keep your eye on the extra website because no doubt they'll be bringing out other aircraft in the future with this carbon fibre design. If, like me, you're dreaming of owning and doing aerobatics one day and want to know about some other aerobatic aircraft, then see this video on my channel called the Top 5 Aerobatic Aircraft. If you've enjoyed this, please consider liking and subscribing. I've got more videos coming out. A like goes a long way to help the channel out. Thanks for watching. I'm Pilot Mike and safe flying.